guys, welcome back to another episode of Absolute Modix, proudly sponsored by Tune and Styled, and of course Bluey. Uh, in this little short clip, we'll be showing you how to uh, wind in your back calipers and fit new pads. So, if you're changing your rear pads, you're going to want uh, a good selection of tools. We've got a torque wrench for the wheels, we've got an impact gun underneath to help set the wheels off, and you have your brake pads there. Make sure you get the right ones for the right calipers. Uh, and there is a brake caliper wind back tool which helps push the piston back in. So we start off by removing the back wheel. The 17mm on the Astra, as they are on most Vauxhall wheels. And just put the wheel somewhere safe out of the way. If you have black alloys like this, just be careful not to scratch anything because it will show straight up. So there's the rear caliper. So there's the rear caliper. It's a Lucas one, as we can see. Right, so to under this bottom bolt on the caliper, that there is a 13mm, and that there is a 17mm. So you have to hold that with a spanner. Undo that with the ratchet and then you'll be able to swing the caliper up. Ooh, I see movement. I see movement. Put some force behind it. Go on, son. That's it. Now just keep wiggling it till it comes off, guys. <laughs> as quick as that. <laughs> so now I can take the pads out. No. Don't forget to take off the brake fluid reservoir cap and stick a donut of paper around it and pop the cap back over the top, just covering it. Just as you wind back your calipers, any excess fluid will come out of, come out of here and you don't want it to go over your paintwork because you'll strip your paint. So now the caliper's off, we can go ahead and wind the piston in because these are slightly different to the front pistons which just push out, these wind out so you have to wind them back in, you can't just squash them in so you put the you put the tool into the caliper so it's on the piston and then you just very gently wind the piston back in so obviously we've had to extend our wind back kit with the ratchet on and we're just gently winding the piston in. That was right. We've wind the piston back in now, but it was a little awkward on your own, so you might require a friend to help hold the caliper in place. But once it's in, it'll be in nice, nice and far like that. So you'll be able to put your new pad straight on. So now your pads will come out. Now the caliper's out of the way. And fly out with any look like ours. And that's the shim, which holds the pads in so we're just going to give it a quick clean to get all the brake dust out. If you have any muck or anything in there by all means clean it out. And it's ready for its new pads. If you was going to do discs you'd have to take off the carrier just like on our video where we took the front ones off and obviously the little screw for the disc and obviously just, fo just follow the steps we did for the front for that. It's exactly the same. Pop it back on, put the carry back on, clean tool up, put the shim in, put the pads in, caliper on, wheel on, job done. So just go ahead and put the pad straight into the shim. These don't require the grease like the front ones do because they're an aluminium shim. So once they're in, you can put your caliper straight back on over the pads. And insert your bolts. 
and inset your bolts. So then it's just a case of tightening them back up so they're nice and tight. Let's finish that off with the top one. And once they're in nice and tight, you can go ahead and put your wheel on and make sure you top your wheel up. 110 on the Astra. If it's a different car, by all means, check and find out what it is. No, no, it's all right, I've And as I said, wheel on, 110 newton meters on the Astra. If it's a different car, check what it is. Right then, now we've done the back brakes. What you have to do is obviously you have to pump up the brake pedal like you do with any brake job, make sure it's nice and tight. Then I want you to hold your foot on the brake pedal and then you're going to get the handbrake, pull it up so it goes on nice and tight, then you're going to release your foot off of there because now the back wheels will be adjusted. So as soon as you pull that handbrake, it will lock the back wheels and as soon as you let go, it'll release it. So now that it's on, now it's off. Now that's working properly, because if you don't do that, it won't work right. Your handbrake won't work at all until it's adjusted. So make sure you hold it on there, pull up the handbrake so it holds the back wheels, release the foot, foot brake, and then your back wheels will still be held. You'll be able to release that, the back wheels will spin, and obviously it'll reapply it, and they'll be fixed solid. So make sure you do that, guys. Can't stress that enough. So now the brakes are fully adjusted up. We can we can see now that we've had some brake fluid leak out because obviously we pushed all the pistons back, so it's pushed all the fluid back into the reservoir that was excess. So anything that was going to be spilt, you see, has come out and gone onto the rag. If you didn't have the rag, you see it's gone down into the engine bay and stripped any paint off it hit, um, and obviously it's gone on your drive or on or wherever you are. So obviously it's always good to use that ring of like a, the donut ring of paper to pick up anything. If it's still too high when you're done and you've readjusted everything, just drain a little bit out and make it back down to the maximum mark. And then, just remember, put your cap on nice and tight. Like so. Ha 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 